Good afternoon. Pretty simple. Gonna get into grinding my bevels. This is the first week of trying my two videos a week. I'm already not sure if that's gonna work for me. It's Friday afternoon. I fell asleep all day today. It's four o'clock and I'm gonna just start in this, which gives me this afternoon and tomorrow to get my next stage done to upload on Sunday because I'm out all day on Sunday. So yet again, I've left myself a day and a half, a day and a few hours to get this done. So I'm gonna just crack into it. It's now 10 past 5. I think it's time to give it a rest. Stop annoying the neighbours. It was going well, but it wouldn't be a true Anthony project if I didn't do an oopsie for the fifth time. You can see the profile, which I'm fairly happy with. It's taken a while to get there. So I think they call that the primary bevel, and then the secondary is when it comes in a bit sharper and then meets to make your cutting edge which you sharpen or you can do a Scandinavian bevel Scandi, Scandi bevel I think it's called where you just follow this line one straight from the top to the bottom to meet uh, which makes for a, a more resilient edge but it's not a sharp I think because it's more of a wedge than it is like a, a razor anyway I digress um, my oopsie <sighs> this discolored spot here I don't know how well that's gonna focus up um, but it has discolored like that because it's overheating there and it's overheating there because I'm, I'm fairly certain that this is the side that the 1084 was on and I've ground through the first layer of sorry I've ground through a spot of the 1084 and because it's a different composition to the 1075 behind it it's not really one piece so the 1084 is heating up independent of the remaining 1075 in here so the outside layer can get way hot oh yeah now looking at it I don't know how well that's going to show up but there's very clear delamination there. It's just, it's, it's garbage. Hopefully, with more grinding, I'll just get rid of the 1084 altogether. Along here anyway, it'll still be here, because it's at full thickness there. But, that's it, I gotta call it a night. Catch you tomorrow. All right, it's a new day. I'm gonna try and fix this. I'm gonna switch out my belt, I think it's a bit um, I think it's a bit dull, uh, which is not helping my cause. I'm going to grind through this and hope that that delamination hasn't ruined the whole project. That would be frustrating, to say the least, but it wouldn't be surprising. 
I'm sure that once I've ground through this, it's going to be uneven. So I'll have to grind this side a little bit more to balance it out. Okay, now that I have this looking fairly good, I accidentally held it at the wrong angle here, got a bit of a secondary bevel going. But now that I've got it looking fairly good, uh, as far as delaminations and whatnot, fixing those up, I'm going to go to a higher grit, probably 320 or so, whatever I've got. And I'll um, sort of even, even these up a little bit, because it's not quite right. Try and fix some of the imperfections, and then it will be time for heat treat. So I'll clean this up, show you what the result is, and then fire up the forge. Okay, I think I have this where I want it to be. I mean, I probably could go to a higher grit. There are a couple of spots that I can see where the layers sort of join together. I don't know if that's going to pose a problem during heat treat. Um, I refined the tang a little bit, got a good plunge line. I think that's what that is. Ricasso plunge line, oh, I don't know, I forget the terminology, but whatever, I'm leaving it as it is, I'm happy with it sitting there like that, so now it is time for heat treat. Interesting, I have not had that happen before. Don't know what that means. facing a bit of a dilemma here and that's that the blade doesn't actually sit firmly in here uh, if I grab it real tight it should be okay but I don't want to be dropping it into the oil I don't think that worked. I was wondering why it was hurting. I got holes all through my gloves now. Ah, I was worried about doing that. The first quench I don't think was successful. Ow, everything is hot. Still not convinced. I feel like that's definitely, definitely biting. All right, one more try. Oh. All right. I'm gonna just try bringing the temp right up on it, quench it then. it didn't do it. I don't know what's going to. Hmm. 
I'm not convinced. Oh no. Oh no. I think I... <laughs> I know I just overheated it. And I'm just struggling to contain my frustration right now. It's a catastrophe. All right, give me a minute, I'll, um, I'll come back. Well, that was a fairly resounding. That was a fairly, it didn't work. Not only did it not harden, which you can tell by the strip that the file takes off without any issue whatsoever. This is definitely more of an issue. Oh, it warped like crazy. Now that's my fault because it wasn't hardening the way I thought it should. So I thought maybe I'll heat it a bit, mu a bit more. At what point I think I may have bent this with the tongs. I don't know if that was a warp from the heat, but what was a warp from the heat for sure was this. <laughs> oh no. And it's now at six o'clock Saturday night. It's far, far too late for me to try and fix it now, if I can fix it. So, here we go again. Another video of failure, where I don't complete a project where it doesn't work. Oh man, I had my hopes up for this one. I really, really did. I was really happy with the way this was coming along. I should know better than to get my hopes up. As frustrating as it is though, I have to keep reminding myself I'm learning. And I'm learning basically the hard way without any guidance by only watching a couple of YouTube videos without actually having an understanding, a true understanding of the way the different metals, how they heat treat. Maybe doing it in canola oil isn't good enough. Maybe because I tried heat treating it a couple of times, the oil got too hot, which then meant that I couldn't heat treat. Maybe I overheated it. The list goes on, but I make it hard for myself because I could just get a piece of 1075 that's this thickness to begin with, cut out my outline grind it and be done with it, you know, and it, it would only be a few hours rather than days because I have to forge my pieces together first to get my own 1075 billet. Admittedly, I only did that because that's what I had available, whatever. But now I have to edit this video and then upload it tomorrow. There's no way I can fix this uh, today or tomorrow morning before I have to head out. I don't know if I can fix this, but a bigger question is going to be, should I fix this? I could try whacking it in the forge and just being real delicate with a hammer and try and knock it back into shape close enough to where it needs to be that I can then do a heat treat and the final grinding. If I just, you know, tap it real lightly to, to square everything up again, I could do it. <sighs> Maybe there's a slim chance that I can fix this, but I don't have the skills enough to confidently say, yeah, I'll just fix this, no problem. I can try to fix this and probably make it worse. <laughs> so should I even bother? That's the question. And besides, when I do heat it up in the forge, I'm gonna lose more to scale again. And I don't know what sort of damage that'll do. But what are you gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I got nothing else. I don't know what else to say. So my apologies for another crummy video. But this is part of my journey, I guess. I'm still learning. I'm not making how-to videos. I'm not showing you how to do it. This is the process of me learning. So I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Thank you for tagging along on this pointless endeavor. And I will catch you soon. Oh, God damn it.